Hello, I am a professor. Empedocles will be discussed in three following sections. His life, followed by his beliefs and works, and finally, vegetarianism and death. Hello, my name is Diogenes Lerthius. Many details of the life of Empedocles remain quite unwell detailed because I remain one of the few to recall his life apart from his surviving work. He lived from 492 to 432 BCE in Agricus, Sicily. He was a philosopher and a poet, being one of the most important philosophers prior to Socrates. His grandfather Empedocles was victorious in the Olympian chariot race in 496 and in 470 his father Meno was largely instrumental in the overthrow of the tyrant Theraestius. He is regarded widely as a materialistic physicist, a shamanic magician, a mystical theologian, a healer, a democratic polit politician, and a fraud. He was a follower of Pythagoras, and in my own writings, I have stated that Empedocles is a master of expression and skilled in use of the metaphor, which brings us to his beliefs and works. The Earth is a cosmic cycle of eternal change, growth, and decay in which two personified cosmic forces, love and strife, engage in an eternal battle for supremacy. These two cosmic forces hold together the four element theory of matter. Earth, air, fire, and water. I am the father of rhetoric, or the first accredited with the study of it. This is the rhetoric. Logos, using logical arguments such as an induction and deduction. Pathos, creating an emotional reaction in the audience. Ethos, projecting a trustworthy, authoritative, or charismatic image. Image. <laughs> My most important writings are on nature and purifications. The original texts are apparently difficult to read and translate, but the conclusion of these is that the motion and change actually exist, and at the same time, reality is fundamentally changeless. Empedocles was a vegetarian because he claimed to be a diamond, which is a divine or potentially divine being. And this is the story he told of that. Yum 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 is me eating. And then the immortals came down. You are being banished, Empedocles, for three times countless years for committing the sin of me eating. This was regarded just as sinful as being a cannibal. You are forced to suffer successive reincarnations in a purificatory journey through the different orders of nature and elements of the cosmos. I have now achieved the most perfect of human states, and I will be reborn as an immortal. I have magical powers, including the ability to revive the dead and control the winds and rains. This is not where the story ends, though. There are two most prominent and highly likely legends of his death, accompanied by three obscure but possible ones. There are the two versions of the most published ones. I am going to throw myself into this volcano so that my body will vanish and I'll turn into an immortal god. Ah! It is also believed that he threw himself in to prove to his disciples that he was immortal and come back as a god after being consumed by the fire. Whether returning to Earth as said in the second legend or not returning at all, he could be recognized as a god. However, this plan failed as the volcano threw back Empedocles' golden sandals, revealing his deceit. Other legends claim that he fell from his carriage, broke his leg and died, or fell overboard a ship and drowned, or that he hanged himself. 
Horace refers to Empedocles' death in his works, Ars Poetica, explain the poet's right to destroy themselves. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.